This world is now controlled by a superior species. Simon 1.0 eliminated. 2.0, what did I say? But wait, there is more. An electric surfboard is, is what is up. We have winter, 11 out of 12 months, which means that's gonna have to wait. Uh, I'm crying inside, but that's fine. I always do. But hey, that doesn't mean we can't use this stuff for other projects, as long as we don't break them. So for this video, the unicorn boat is back. No, we're not gonna change the motor, the speed controller, the batteries, none of that. What we are going to see today is something you guys posted in the comments, a bunch of it, and that's the inefficiency, inefficiency, of this impeller situation we got going on. So is this new jet drive unit, what's gonna make this boat go 100 miles an hour? I gotta give it to myself. I took the sweet time to make sure the coupler would be nice and balanced. Maybe next time make sure the holes are centered. Well, you may notice the gap between the motor and the drive shaft equals not good. Couplers, a pretty beautiful thing. Well, I don't have a lathe. Is it called a lathe? Lathe? Uh, which meant I couldn't make a proper one. So, you know, you saw the footage, I had to make my own. Every single time the holes would be a little offset from each other, which meant that when I spun the motor up, it would just shake out of this world. Turns out I have couplers for these motors. Why not make the boat fly to the moon, yeah? Uh, Aqua Star, and I might be a little hasty on this, so don't take my word for it. But to put it nicely, it sucks. I set everything up. I had an inch of hope that this would work. This motor has an adjustable KV, so by swapping these six cables, you can decide if you want more torque or more speed out of this motor. Using the old EC that we know works with the new motor, it's gonna work. 
It might very well blow up, but it's gonna work. Everything has been a big mess. I, I legit stopped recording because everything was just a cluster. I tried like a hundred different things, and you can't you can't possibly compose that into a video. So that it probably doesn't make sense that I have an orange coupler at this point. But just bear with me. This is the solution to the vibration problem that I've been having the last couple of days. A 3D printed coupler made out of TPU. It got some flex to it, but it's pretty much solid. Okay, here it is. Look, I made it a bit longer so we can move the motor back, which seems to magically make all the vibrations disappear. Thank you very much. You see, I don't think this is going to fail. Immediately anyways. Not only will it be locked in by this level, the circle is also quite a bit smaller, so it will have a lot of gripping force, as well as being locked in. Key components. You think that's enough? We're not done. Not only will it be printed laying down, so we have the layers horizontal, IQ200. It will be printed in solid TPU, which makes it basically solid. Uh, but it does have some flex to it, and it's the reason why I don't think it's gonna just shred it apart. I think this is gonna work. Oh yeah, there is like, oh yeah, there is like a 99% chance of failure. It's just a question of how spectacular the fail will be. I give it a 80% chance of just something going wrong. How about 19% of just it blowing up? And a 1% chance of it being so fast it disintegrates upon too high acceleration. And no, that's not a failure, that's a win. The water cooling is also working. Okay, viewers who've been wanting to see this on fire, pay close attention because that might just happen. Some acceleration. Hey 2.0, do me a favor and tell them how bad the weather has been.
bad. That's why I really want to make a part two on a nice bright sunny day and go someplace nice and drive this boat and really make a good looking video and maybe even bring someone to fly the drone for me so I don't have to do both things at once. That's a weird flex, but okay. That's a five kilowatt motor on a 10 cell battery like this. That's gonna be a sight. We're definitely trying that next. So, and with those final words, I'll say I appreciate you watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.